Before we go into the demo, I'd like to go through what we have in our environment. In the production site, on the left, we have a set of SQL Server VMs and an ESX cluster connected to a Clarion CX4960 array. And on the right, we have their replicas using Recover Point to replicate the data to the recovery site, which also has a Clarion CX4960 array. So in this demo, we will show a virtualized SQL Server database being restored to a specific point in time. In order to simulate a disaster, from within SQL Server Management Studio, a table from an OLTP database is being deleted at 16 minutes past 2. This is a critical table to the functionality of the database called the Accounts Permissions Table. Users cannot access data without it, so at 16 minutes past 2, the business in which the database was serving is down. We also deleted the database. To restore the database, Replication Manager is the only interface required by the user, which coordinates all operations across all levels of the stack. SQL Server, Windows Server, VMware, EMC Clarion and Recover Point in order to orchestrate the recovery process. We do a select to restore from the CRR copy from the remote site and wind the clock back to just one second before the disaster occurred. The restore operation took 3 minutes 26 seconds. After Replication Manager finishes its recovery process, it will leave the database detached in order to allow the DBA to manually attach the database. The DBA then has the opportunity to ensure integrity of the database before allowing access to users. With the database attached, online users can again access data and the business unit is now operating again. This solution gave us an RPO of one second and an RTO of less than four minutes. The level of recovery is extremely powerful and allows you to commit to strict service level agreements with business owners. This allows you to easily and quickly recover business critical, highly transactional OLTP databases with minimal fuss.